Two normally peaceful islands near Darwin have been experiencing some explosive action. The Defence Force has been busy blowing up bombs near sacred turtle nests. It's cleaning up unexploded ammunition dating back to World War II to make the island safe for visitors and the turtles. Phoebe Stewart reports. That's just one of the bombs which have left Quail and Bear Sand Island scarred with craters. The islands, about 45 kilometres from Darwin, were hammered by the RAAF and Allied forces from World War II until 1975. This was the main uh, air weapons range that was uh, used in World War II for aircraft that were uh, departing from Darwin and uh, flying north to places like Timor um, to undertake raids on the Japanese. Technicians have been blowing up live ammunition there since last year, including a 1,000-pound aircraft bomb. So far, they've removed 47 tonnes of spent ammunition. And they're using GPS technology to uncover even more. That's uh, part of a tail fin off a large aircraft bomb. You can still see some of the shape in it. The old uh, bomb tails used to be square-type shapes. The other thing we've been finding is things like uh, practice bombs. OK, that's part of a practice bomb. No matter how uh, carefully you do this work, you, it's very difficult to guarantee with absolute certainty that every single item of uh, ordnance has been recovered. Every dig is treated as a potential explosion with a five-kilometre exclusion zone around the islands. But some of the locals have taken little notice. Thousands of baby endangered flatback turtles hatch there every year and Defence says it's been mindful not to disrupt nesting grounds. The islands also hold sacred sites for the Larrakia traditional owners who take possession once the project is finished. Defence is hoping to clear the islands of all dangerous ordinance by the end of the year to return it as a safe haven for Indigenous use, research, tourism and turtles. Phoebe Stewart, ABC News, Bear Sand Island.